What's going on guys, C0 Media here. Today I'm doing a video that was requested by one of my viewers and that is how do you wash the engine bay of your filthy, dirty Evo 8 or 9 or 10 or whatever car you might have. The reason why I am doing this is because one, it was requested by one of my viewers and two, because something came loose in my Evo and now there's oil everywhere particularly in this back left area of the car so what i'm gonna do is uh give it a wash to clean up everything that's exposed and exploded so what i'm gonna do is just get rid of all this oil that's built up in the rear left side of the car and it looks completely nasty right now it is so dirty it is not the way my evo should look but I'm gonna show you guys how to prepare your car for car wash under the hood. First thing you need is just JDM aluminum foil or aluminum foil, wherever you're in the world. What you wanna do basically is just uh, wrap up all the areas that has electrical connections and air filter. So I'm gonna cover up this, this, um, and alternator in the back as well with the aluminum foil. You just wanna prevent any electrical components from getting any water in it or any air inlets from getting any water in it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up my car with some aluminum foil. All right, so after you protect your, your inlets and electrical components uh, I cover the starter under the car as well you can use something like this engine cleaner or if you don't feel like picking up one of those you can use purple power these work pretty well as well I think I'm just gonna use a combination of two this engine cleaner I have sitting around in my garage for a while so I'm gonna just spray everything that I need to clean particularly in this area and uh, let it sit there for a minute So the thing with the engine degreaser is you don't need to go crazy with it. It's pretty accurate when it comes to aiming with it. So let me just show you. I sprayed a lot from uh, under the car and although it's not required to lift up your car, it is highly recommended because you can really access under the car. And if you look at this here, it just shoots out like a stream and you can really aim at what you want to clean up. Look how far that goes, that's my transfer case, the bottom of my transfer case. So for that reason, engine degreaser is a pretty good system. So just make sure you get all the dirty areas, hit that up and then let it sit there for a minute. Now if you have areas that are really dirty, you can also scrub it with brush and that will really get the dirt off your car. And lastly, it is time to wash off your car. Um, I just have a regular hose here. I wouldn't use anything that's too high of a pressure because you don't want, again, this water going into any electrical components. So I'm just going to spray it down, use a brush if I need to, and get all the water out. And get all the dirt off. Okay, so I sprayed down the engine bay with water hose and uh, again, don't go too crazy with it, just wipe off where it's necessary. Like if you saw in my video, I didn't even come over here because I know this part's clean and I don't need to spray down things that I don't need to and cause any problems. Um, what you can do after you water down your engine bay is maybe use like a air hose and clear off all the water in engine bay. If not, just let it sit there for a minute and start the car and all the water would essentially evaporate off of the car. So it's looking nice and clean. Now, and don't worry about that, that's the exhaust wrap for the dump pipe that I started to remove because it was kind of burning off and getting um, crispy. So I'm just gonna take that off and cut that off anyways. So that's it for cleaning your engine bay. It's not that hard. Just uh, again, don't over spray. I know it's kind of exciting to spray down your engine bay and clean it up, but don't overdo it and take your time with it. So thanks again for watching, guys. If you have any 
tips and tricks for doing this, by the way, let me know. I don't do this very often, and as all of you know, I'm more of a mechanical guy, not so into cleaning and waxing and detailing the car. So if you have any advice for doing this, please let me know. Please let the world know. Leave it in the comment section below, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.